Well, good morning. We're at the uh, Thomas Stone National Historic Site uh, here in Charles County, Maryland. Uh, it's Friday morning. It's about 11 o'clock, uh, April the 9th. Temperatures in the mid-50s. We had a cold front come through last night. Temperatures were in the 80s yesterday and uh, earlier in the week, and now we've had kind of a, uh, a downturn in the temperatures. Very, very nice day. Uh, sun just recently came out. Uh, got about an inch of rain last night. I uh, thought we'd come out and, and hike this uh, area again. We've been here before. Uh, we have a, a previous uh, video posted, uh, but it didn't uh, have a whole lot of the trail on it. Uh, there is a, a, a pretty good trail here. It's not too long, uh, but it's not uh, what I would consider to be an easy trail. Uh, and uh, hopefully you'll see that. Uh, but again, uh, this is another chance to get out and see some of our American history. Uh, Thomas Stone was only 43 years old when he died. Uh, younger than that when he signed the Declaration of Independence. He's one of the signers. Uh, he's actually buried here on the property along with some other of his family. Uh, this is part of the Department of Interior Park Service, uh, so it's a national site. Uh, we only have either three or four of the Declaration of Independence signers uh, properties that's owned by the federal government. Uh, and preserved for all of us. Uh, the house has uh, been restored. Uh, I've not actually taken the tour in there. This place doesn't get a lot of uh, a, a lot of uh, well not a lot of people come here. The, they have a lot of field trips that come during the school year from time to time. Uh, my understanding is the scouts uh, come in from time to time but general public, uh, general public is uh, probably not. It's a little bit out of the way. It's uh, located in Charles County, uh, located off Rose Hill Road. Uh, if you go to the uh, National Park Service uh, website, you can get directions and you can get here. It's free, free admission. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's take a hike and see what we see. You can see this is uh, not what I would consider to be a Every person type hike, uh, quite a quite a drop uh, here that we're headed to. Although it's not a wilderness trail, it's uh, actually a, a road. Uh, shoot some video, some beautiful trees in here, large trees. And of course now they're all coming out with their with their leaves and everything. So uh, it's even even nicer down in here. Curious to see how much uh, winter damage we had for all the snow. All right, well, let's go. Well, we didn't have to go too far to see uh, some of the results of this year's uh, pretty harsh winter we had here in, in the Southern Maryland area. A couple of major snowstorms. That's where we came from. And we're going to see if we can get through here. Uh, may have to turn around and go back. Or find an alternate route. Let's keep going. Now we did have to get off the trail a little bit, do a little bushwhacking here. Uh, it's a huge tree I'm standing next to, you can see. Uh, here's my hiking stick. And it's uh, Let's just let you see how tall it looks. Very tall tree. Uh, what we're trying to do is avoid all that uh, mud and gunk down there. That's where they brought in some heavy equipment to uh, clear the trail. So uh, we're going to keep on going this way as far as we can. We may end up having to turn around go back out. Some of the signs of spring. New growth. Uh, got a fern coming up. I'm not certain what that is. Uh, interesting looking plant. Another one over here. And there's something with some little pink flowers on it. And another one over here. 
So we'll uh, make note of this and try and figure out exactly what it is. That's part of this uh, scouting business that we like to do. Discover. Now that's what we went around. We wanted to avoid that. That's a pretty muddy mess. Looks like we made it around. Uh, you can see right over here there's actually a stream. Flows down through there. So well, let's continue. This is where we're going. It's an open meadow up here. Then we'll start our uh, trek back up hill uh, towards the house. It's not a long hike. Hope you're enjoying the video. Remember, you got to get out back, see what's going on outside. And if you're in Charles County, this is out back. This is your backyard. Well, there you have it. One of the sure signs of spring. Flowering dogwood trees. Man, they are always so beautiful. They just kind of look like clouds floating in the forest. Uh, there are a number of them here at uh, Tom Stone National Historic Site, Charles County, Maryland. Off of We've reached a, a meadow. You can see the uh, dogwoods sprinkled here and there finally got up on some higher ground so we're not so much in the boggy soggy area that's where we came out of there's the stream running over there well, let's keep on going again yeah, hope you're enjoying this video now well, that's the metal meadow that we just came across we stayed up on this high side over here and there's one of our park service workers working down here to clear this. Get it back in shape for the public. Let's keep on going. Well, if you got to travel down through here, I guess, uh, you know, that's your job. You don't need to get the exercise like uh, I'm trying to do, so that's definitely the way to go. We're going to be heading back into the uh, into the woodland area now. And then we actually head back up country towards the uh, the house and the welcome center. It's a great place to come. You can uh, have a nice picnic, chance to get out. Again, it's not too difficult to a walk or a hike or a scout. Some beautiful country here, some historical significance. We want to keep on going. Now, you know from my other videos that uh, I'm just drawn to flowing water. And uh, here we are, a little stream going down emptying into the bigger stream. Uh, again, all this area is part of the uh, Chesapeake Bay, Watershed, Potomac River, Port Tobacco River, Mattawoman Creek, all those different areas. Beautiful little stream running off down that way uh, towards that larger stream. And here's where it comes from. You can see off in the distance, you can see the forest 